Yeah, hi everyone. Jason here, Robert Law Miles Australia. Today I am going to just do a little bit of playing around with Luba, and I just want to show you roughly what Luba's capability is when it comes to uh, off-road sort of ability to go up and down slopes and uh, and over rough terrain. So, not quite sure what you're going to be able to see on the camera here, but sort of spots here. And I haven't tried any of these yet, so this is the first time I'm trying all this sort of stuff. But you see. So what happens with Luba is that what he's just done now is that he's bellied out on that, on that spot there. That's, it is stepping up around about 100 millimetres there, but he certainly steps out. A bit, a bit more of a run up there, see how he goes. And he goes over it quite well as long as he's, uh, as long, as long as he's got a little bit of speed up. Um, you see this extra sec bit to the side here now, that's probably nearly 150 millimetres high, uh, around 15 centimetres. Yeah, around 15 centimetres. And I'll just go backwards down there, no problems at all. Uh, I'll take him up there forwards and he'll probably get stuck. Yeah, actually, he, he actually bumped onto his bump sensor there. So if he was actually mowing at that time, he would have actually bumped into that and gone round uh, a, di a different way. He would actually hit his bump up. Um, we'll try a little spot over here further. So this little spot here probably looks like it's about 55% thereabouts. It, it really is quite steep. Um, but really, Luba has no troubles getting over just about anything. Um, as long as his bump sensor doesn't trip, doesn't hit the uh, hit the obstacle when he's going over it, he really has no troubles at all over just about anything. So the only thing you really got to worry about is where he bell bellies out underneath. So if he does belly out underneath, um, then you'll find that he absolutely will get stuck. Uh, and particularly if he's trying to turn around on things that he has his belly stuck on. Um, so let's just uh, have one more go here. We go a little bit closer to this big hole over here. Where do you go over there? Here we are. Move up, come back. So even if I put, it really is quite capable in how he actually does go over things. This will really tire him out. He will go over the hole here a bit, and he still manages to go through it. Mind you, he is going quite fast. So if it wasn't uh, travelling so fast, I'll slow him down across here in a second and we'll just see how he actually how he travels if I just take him over these holes um, we'll turn him around this way a little bit so he's got some so you can see he really he really does have some ability to climb he's stuck on his belly again there now so that's a perfect example of how you can get him bellied out and once he sits on his belly he's not really going anywhere unless he goes backwards which he probably won't try very much when he's actually mowing himself. He'll end up just getting completely stuck. But like I said, as you can see, that really is a, a significant sort of a step up there. You really wouldn't expect um, your robot mower to actually be able to go up such a spot. Um, yet yeah, he really can. So it really is, you know, they really are a very capable machine uh, in, in what they can and go over. Uh, when it comes to rough ground, um, I mean, the, the ground really can be quite rough. Uh, there's a good spot over here maybe where you can just sort of see again it comes down to whether it bellies out or not if the robot bellies out then you really are that's it you're, you're, just, you're sort of you're sort of stuck uh, in how it goes around uh, surely he's got to be stuck hasn't he <laughs> try to reverse no he's going to go backwards no problems at all so you really can see that they really can operate very very well uh, over fairly rough terrain we'll try one more obstacle over here which i noticed earlier there's a really big hole over here and again he's definitely going to bottom out uh, the actual as he goes over the hole but He's able to go through it without too much trouble at all on one side. This should be better. No, he still managed to go through there, no problems at all. It really is quite remarkable how well he does go through things. We'll slow him down this time for you a little bit. Just go nice and slow. And he has no trouble. Oh, he got bottomed out, bottomed out, bellied out a little bit there. Turn around again. So you really can see that, like I said, he's, he really is going to do a pretty damn good job when it comes to, to uh, rough terrain. That's all I want to show you guys, just to sort of give you a bit of an idea. There's not too many videos out there showing you sort of exactly you know, how rough these guys have ground, can, they can really go over. Um, 
ideally you don't want to be going over this rough ground with it you want to be, be cordoning off those areas but if your ground does have some rough spots in it um, then you really can get away with the, with running the luber over it perfectly fine um, it's only if it bellies out uh, in the middle of the robot that you'll actually have uh, trouble with luber uh, losing its traction as always guys email us sales at robotlawmowers.com.au if you've got any questions uh, check, out our web, check out our website at www.robotlawnmowers.com.au um, or find us on Facebook or Instagram. Just search for Robot Lawn Mowers Australia. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.